Hello, welcome back to Brandon Social Life Coding. In this episode, I'm sharing this geometry nodes node tree that's basically allowing you to cut slice um, objects uh, over time. So you can specify uh, how many frames it's going to cut slice in a certain directions, in this case in the z-axis. So there's this Suzanne that's been remeshed and solidifies, and there's this sphere I solidify and then cut slice through it. I can get rid of the solidify so it's become like a normal sphere and there's also this text object okay let's uh so let's uh get rid of some of these so basically we have something like this so we can assign this to any objects for example this cylinder just gonna put it on the ground and then i'm gonna select this select this and then control command l copy modifier so it's going to copy the geometry nodes modifier as well and you can see it's it's cutting it's slicing from the top and the bottom in this case uh, maybe if i apply the transform so it's going to cut properly so this is the basic idea and we can solidify this cylinder so we have some kind of surface okay so yeah so how does this work it's basically using a very simple setup over here you can see the nodes under 10 nodes very simple and I'm basically using this the bounding box of the object and boolean cut itself so I've done this in the previous nodes but it's just I'm just doing this differently and the scaling of the bounding box um, is being controlled by time this is time value that's been multiplied and we have this map range that's kind of go from minimum maximum high value into 0 to 1 and then I have this subtract to inverse the value and combine everything as the scale of the bounding box so I'm really cutting using the bounding box if I show you just the the bounding box that has been scale so this is basically what's going on so any objects uh, that you assign this geometry node will extract this bounding box and then the bounding box will scale smaller and smaller over time and so we can use that to cut itself and okay oops my I think my mouse is broken and so we have this effect and the cool thing is that with geometry nodes of course you can you can add some kind of offset so this is the time that's been multiplied there's this map range if i pipe down this maximum value outside so now each and every object here i can just <clears throat> change this like for example make this 50 frames this one stay at 20 frames so if I scrub, you can see this one will do it slower. So that's the basic idea. So it's kind of like separate offset. So any objects, uh, we can just slice through it. Uh, for example, the torus. I think by default, if I just assign this copy, copy modifier, you can see it's, a, it's cutting itself. From the top and the bottom but if i put this on the ground command a assign all transform now it's gonna cut slice in the z-axis properly so for this guy i can change this to for example 10 so it's gonna slice faster than the sphere and so you get you get the idea I'm actually using this for one of my scan, which is the this tuk tuk. Uh, where is this tuk tuk cutout? Let's see. So this guy is a bit, it's a bit heavy, but the like any 3D scan 
it's a good idea to maybe just you can bake out uh, the alembic output of uh, your 3d mesh beforehand so you don't need to wait for the process or you can kind of decimate the scan so the same idea you have mesh and you want to cut slice through in the certain directions this might take a while if I try to maybe I should decimate it first so you can see this is like cutting slice through this object and it's using it's basically using the bounding box occasionally you might find a glitch maybe it's a something to do with the boolean but most of the time it's gonna work normally you are sometimes you're doing this through the camera let's see anyway I, I'm gonna decimate this oh it's taking a while if you are doing like 3d scanning uh, here I'm using the the iPhone lighter if you're doing 3d scan of the room you can actually cut cut through uh, your scan like uh, for example your interior so you can look at it from the top view oh, I should move that earlier and just apply this so now it's like 10% of the original mesh so it should be faster so you can see it's actually like making the the 3D like a uh, it's turning it into like solid if you are using solidify beforehand you can you can see the interior it's kind of like a like a top view of the object so I'll just add a solidify and it's gonna do a boolean for us using geometry nodes if it's like interior from the top view you can see the uh, what do you, what's we call it like a floor plan so apparently this this takes too long time but uh, anyway you get the idea so that's basically pretty much what I want to show you hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye